Okay, how crazy is this, guys? I'm trying to get started on this Saturday night snack and a movie video here. And we have got hail and winds that are absolutely crazy out here. It blew the top off the uh, hot tub. It looks like it's calming down a little bit now. But yeah, I was out there fixing the top of that hot tub and it's hailing out there. Crazy. Well, that lasted for a whole 3.2 minutes. Okay, guys, so anyways, it is Saturday night, guys. We are getting ready to go get some snacks to make some awesome, tasty, tasty, delicious snacks. I'm gonna take you down here in the basement for a minute. Usually I start this video down here in the basement. I don't wanna fall, that's why I'm watching my feet. <laughs> but this has been one busy week, and as you can see, I still have the Titanic poster up here. I've taken down one poster from over here. We still have this one over here, and we have a whole slew of new posters here that need to go up on that wall right there. I'll show you those posters in just a minute here, but as you can see, I still have not finished putting new movies up on the shelf. But before we even get into that, let's talk about our movie for tonight, and the movie for tonight is Sing! Now, last week we were supposed to do Sing, but if you're a member of the Facebook group called that Nate Guys and Gals, if you're not a member, go over there and join up. But if you are a member, you already know that I hurt my back, so last week we skipped Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. But we are back, and tonight we are watching Sing. Now, Sing is a movie that I have not yet seen myself. All I really know about it is that there's animals and a singing pig. So at this moment, I honestly don't even know what kind of snack we are going to have. I usually post it at the beginning of the week so you guys can go out and get the ingredients to make your snack right along with me as I make it. But this week, I just have no idea what kind of a snack we're going to have. I'm going to have to go out to the store and try to find stuff and decide while I'm shopping. Basically because I know nothing about this movie, so I don't know what kind of snack to make that would tie into this movie. But before we even do that, I want to show you guys these new movie posters that I got that I'm going to be putting up on this wall over here. So you've all seen these posters over here. The one that I put that's still in the frame, the Titanic poster that's enormous, and the one that I had over here that just had an old set. Saturday Night Snack and a Movie t-shirt in it. I love the Titanic poster, but it's just too big for this room. It doesn't really look right on there. So I went ahead, I bought a whole bunch of 20 by 30 frames and a whole bunch of 20 by 30 movie posters. So let's go ahead and take a look at what those are first. The first one here is Johnny Dangerously with Michael Keaton. I don't know how many of you guys have seen that. It's kind of an older movie, but I absolutely love it. It takes place in the 40s and it's absolutely hilarious. Not really a kid's movie, though. Next up, we have Romancing the Stone, which is one of my favorite movies ever, and my other channel, Romancing the States, is based on that. Behind that, we have another one of my all-time favorites, and that is Rocky IV. Rocky IV is my favorite Rocky movie out of all of them. We have one empty frame back here because I have another poster right in here that needs to go in it, but I'll show you that one later. While we're looking at these, though, we have Commando. you got to have a Schwarzenegger poster in your movie room. So we have Commando. And we have Back to the Future. Who doesn't love Back to the Future? The next one up is E.T. I love E.T. so much. I think it's the first movie I ever saw in a movie theater. And behind that one... Young Guns. This is not my favorite poster ever, but I absolutely love the movies Young Guns 1 and 2. So most of those posters, at least the ones that will fit, are going to go along this wall behind the couch, and I think that will look a lot better than just that one ginormous Titanic poster back there. So now that I've shown you those, I am going to hit the road. I'm going to run out and get some stuff to make some awesome snacks. I will be right back, and we will make the snacks together. <laughs> How crazy is this, guys? Look, it stormed like almost hurricane weather, knocked down some trees, and 
five minutes later, it's like beautiful out here. So back to Walmart we go to find an awesome snack for our Saturday night snack and a movie for the movie Sing. What in the heck is it going to be? Well, it has something to do with pigs. <laughs> I was thinking like some kind of a pigs in the blanket type thing, which the pigs would have to be hot dogs, I guess. Now, I personally am perfectly fine with the bar S. What in the world? Somebody like opened that pack or something. But Marianne doesn't like them and she's going to be eating them too. So... I think, whoa, look at this, we got cheese dogs. Do you guys remember when they used to have Franken stuff? It was hot dogs that had chili inside the hot dog. And when you would boil it, the chili inside would get so hot that it would burn the heck out of the inside of your mouth. Here we go, Nathan's Bun Length Ginormous Hot Dogs. Am I seeing this correctly, guys? $10 for these things. Okay, $10 for the jumbo restaurant style hot dogs. I think we'll skip those and go for the regular Nathan's bun length, which is still a major ripoff at 447 per pack. What in the world? Okay, I also want to get some Pillsbury crescent rolls over here. All right, let's take a look at these things. We've got a single pack up here. Ooh, it's sweet Hawaiian. There's eight in one of those packs. I thought maybe we'd get need to get the double, but we don't need it. We just need the regular ones here. Um, oh, look at this, corn dog wraps. Let's try those. Eight in a package. They're basically the exact same thing as what we were just gonna get. And our pigs are cold, so they need blankets. Look at this, Easter is like the best time to watch animal type movies because there's so many easy snacks. Look at this, you have this Kinder, which has one, two, three, four, five, six little animal snacks in it. They're just hollow chocolate. But look at this, we got like a bunny a sheep a duck i think that is another sheep is i think that's a frog <laughs> we got a frog and a chicken in there all right we also need to get some chili because these are going to be sloppy pigs in a blanket pigs in sloppy blankets <laughs> okay let's see i want chili with no beans here's wolf brand but i actually think i want Hormel. I know you pigs like to be sloppy, so there you go. And I think the last thing we need is some sliced cheese. I believe I have some at home, but I am not positive, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a pack of these craft singles. There's an extra little blanket for you guys. All right, guys, we are home. We got what we need for our snack. There's a giant power line over here that is down from that storm. I'm hoping we can get this done and the video uploaded before the power company comes over and shuts down the power. It is time to make our awesome snack for tonight. It is gonna to be so super easy. I think you just saw everything that I bought in the store. We have Nathan's Bun Length Hot Dogs. We have Kraft Singles. We have Hormel Chili with no beans. And we have the most awesome find of the day, Pillsbury corn dog wraps. What in the world? I've never seen these before. Usually I just use Pillsbury Crescent wraps for these, but these look really cool and I'm kind of hoping they taste a little bit like corn. So whatever you want to call these, there's some sort of pig in a blanket, although we're also going to use that chili to make it like a sloppy or a muddy pig in a blanket. And with in mind that we have corn dog wraps, maybe they're actually going to be Corny, muddy pigs in a blanket. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we need some cheese. We're gonna make eight of these. We have eight hot dogs in the pack. We have a whole stack of cheese. We're gonna go through this and choose eight slices of cheese. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we do not need to pre-cook our hot dogs. They're gonna be put in the oven when they get wrapped with our corn dog wraps. So there is no need to pre-cook them. The chili, on the other hand, we do need to cook that individually. So we'll put that in another pan or in even a bowl that's microwavable. That's probably quicker and easier, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's start out, yikes, with our corn dog wraps. I just wanted to look cool, okay? If you can spin it and catch it without, <laughs> If you can spin it and catch it without looking, you're awesome. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> okay, so first we need to get our cookie pan. Then we need to get our parchment paper. Then we need to put our parchment paper on the cookie pan. 
Okay, hold on, I need to make glasses. Okay, that's much better. Then we need to heat the oven to 375. Unroll the dough, separate into eight rectangles. Then place one hot dog lengthwise onto each dough rectangle. Okay, wrap dough around hot dog and pinch the seam to seal. Okay, we're gonna follow those directions, but we're gonna do it a little bit different because remember, we have our cheese to put on before we roll up the hot dogs. Okay, the hot dogs are prepared. The cheese is all prepared and ready to go. Now let's get moving with our corn dog wraps. Okay, to open, we peel. <laughs> Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we should have eight little squares in here, and yes, we do. So, okay, let's separate those out. kind of want to spread them out a little bit, make them a little bit bigger. Maybe not. Okay, there's that. There's that. Four, five, six. Make them fit on here. Seven, eight. Okay. Cheese, 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 cheese. Dog, 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 pig. Pig, pig, pig. Roll it up together a little bit. Upside down, roll it up, 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 upside down. All right, there they are so far. I'm sure that we could actually take these and stretch them and squeeze them and make that uh, that bread fit all around those hot dogs, but I don't care. The oven is almost ready, and when it is, we need to put these in and bake for 17 to 21 minutes or until golden brown. That seems easy enough. Okay, in the oven. Start the timer, and while that is cooking, we are gonna get our chili ready. All right, I think we are gonna go ahead and use the stove top for our chili. Oh, look at this. I don't even need the can opener because it's one of those that you just pull the little tab and it comes open. Oh yeah. We're gonna get a couple of these out too because we're gonna put our chili in these so that we can take our dogs, our pigs, and dip them right in and <laughs> Okay, so while this stuff is cooking, let me tell you guys what is going on with Saturday Night Snack and a Movie t-shirts. So a good handful of people have ordered these shirts from Teespring. Teespring is the business that I was using online to prepare and ship out all my t-shirt orders. For some reason recently, they have kind of disappeared off the map. They won't even respond to me, and I have orders myself out there for t-shirts that I have no idea where they are. To my knowledge, everyone who has ordered finally has got their shirts. However, two to three months waiting for a shirt that you've ordered is completely unacceptable. So, I am taking it into my own hands, guys. I am going to be providing the shirts for you guys for sale right from here, from my house. We will talk a little bit more about the process later, but when you order, it should take a week or less to get from me to you. So no more of this one, two, even three months of waiting for a Saturday night snack and a movie t-shirt. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Okay, our chili is hot. Ah, pigs are done. Dang, look at those. <laughs> I think we lost half our cheese. All right, we're gonna put our pigs on a plate. We're gonna put some chili in a little cup. Oh yeah, put that on the plate. And look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at the steam just rolling off of that. Everything is so hot right now. Okay, guys, I have let these cool down a little bit here and I am ready to give them a taste test. All right, look at that. We got dog, cheese, we got cornbread, and we have chili. Let's dunk him right in there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good, guys. Oh yeah. Mmm. That is absolutely delicious. I've made these a hundred times with Pillsbury Crescent Rolls, and these cornbread wraps are a hundred percent better than even using the Crescent Rolls. If you guys did not make these right along with me, I hope you make them another night for a movie night, because they are absolutely delicious. 
Mm-hmm. All right, guys, I'm going to load up my plate here and head downstairs so I can watch the movie. If you are enjoying this series, make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit that bell, and leave me a comment below. <laughs>